Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to rename shared parameter inside of your Revit project. As you probably know, if you go into your shared parameter file, after you have created your shared parameter, if you go to the properties, you cannot rename it or change its data type or modify it in any way. So the only way to actually do this is to create a new parameter, which will be with the correct name and copy the values from the old parameter. As you can see in here, I have many values to the new parameter. And the easiest way to do this is with the help of Dynamo. And this is what I'm going to show you in this video. So first we need to create a new parameter, which will be called correctly. As you can see, I have a misspelling in here. So I will call it door hardware. And I will choose the same data type, which is text. So now I have my correctly named new parameter created in my shared parameter file. And I need to now create a project parameter from this shared parameter. So I will go with my door hardware and place it for my doors because the previous one was also for doors. So this is the original one. As you can see, it is misspelled. It is grouped under the text and it's for the door category. And my new one, the correct one is of the same settings. So now I can add this parameter to my schedule. So I will go with my door hardware for you to be able to see that I have copied it. And if you have few values, you can actually do this by hand with uh, sorting and grouping of the schedule. But if you have many values, it's easier to do it with the dynamo. So let's go into our dynamo. So now we are in our dynamo and we will create a new script. And it's actually pretty easy, the script. So we need to first select our category. So we will go with the categories. And we will select our doors because this is where it is used for. Now we will select all elements of this category. So if I now run the script, you can see that I have all of my doors inside of my project selected. Now we need to get the value of the parameter. with the get parameter value by name. So we will put in our elements. Now we'll go with the, with the string input for the name. So it is our door other where. So this is the original one, which is misspelled. So if I now run the script, you can see all of the values here. So now we need to write these values to our new correctly named parameter. So we will do this with the set parameter by name node. So we will go with the same elements. We will now go to our correctly named parameter. And the value will be the value from the original one. So we will just put this here. And now if I run the script, and now if I go back to our Revit program into my door schedule, you can see that all of the values were copied pretty easily. So now I can go and remove this old parameter from my project. Okay. And I can also remove it from my third parameter file if I want. Okay, and now I was able to rename it. There is one last thing, as you can see that this project parameter was removed. If I click on my door, you can see that it was removed, but it is still here in the schedule. So you can 
just go and remove it from the fields but if you have used it in more places inside of your project it is actually a little bit harder to remove it completely and you can do this with the help of the add-in called Revit Lookup if you snoop the database for the name of this parameter which was hardware you can actually find a element called shared parameter element which is this doll hardware and there is an id of this element and if i select now this id with the copy value if i right click here and go with the copy value you can actually select this value with this id in the project and you can see i was able to select this shared parameter element and now if i delete it you will actually delete this shared parameter element from the project so we will delete the shared parameter definition altogether from everywhere in the project so if i go now to my schedule you can see that the column is not here anymore and you can be sure that it will be removed from all of the schedules where it was used so this is probably the easiest way how you can rename shared parameter inside of your project